According to the Public Safety and Recreational Firearms Use Protection Act of 1994, which was later added to H.R. 3555 and was passed in the late 90s, it was defined as a, any semi-automatic rifle with a detachable magazine and at least two of the following five items, a folding or telescopic stock, a pistol grip that protrudes conspicuously beneath the action of the weapon, a bayonet mount, a flash suppressor, or a threaded barrel, or a grenade launcher. A grenade launcher? Come on, man. The most recent bill introduced by Senator Diane Frankenstein <laughs> defines it as a semi-automatic firearm with a detachable magazine and one additional feature. Really? Such as a pistol grip, a folding or telescoping stock, a barrel shroud or threaded barrel, or a grenade launcher and the newly added rocket launcher. It is also considered to be any military style, military style, military style firearms. It's not about the performance, people. It's about the way it looks. It's style, military style, freaking cosmetics. Here's an SKS, which is not a military style weapon if it doesn't have the bayonet and is not listed on the guns to be banned. Now here's an AR-15 style weapon that is on the list to be banned. What is the difference? The telescoping stock, the pistol grip, the large capacity magazine, the front grip? Now let's take a look at what kind of ammo they fire. The AR-15 fires a .223 round. The SKS fires a 7.62 round. And here's the 308 round to scale the size. Now the SKS fires 40 to 55 rounds per minute, while the AR-15 fires 45 to 60 rounds per minute. The SKS has an effective range of 400 meters, and the AR-15's effective range is 500 meters. What damage do they do? See if I get this straight. The SKS does more damage, fires just as many rounds per minute at almost the same range, but it isn't on the list. And why? I'll tell you why. Because of the way it looks. Period. Think about how absurd it is that if we took the AR-15 stock and exchanged it with the SKS, put the pistol grip on the SKS and the front grip, got rid of the long magazine and presto, the SKS would be illegal under the new legislation and the AR-15 would be acceptable. Does this make any sense to you people? Not me. It's absurd. Just something to think about.